Welcome to today's episode, where we dive into the intriguing world of Android device integrity and the tools available to ensure your device meets all the necessary security checks. If you've ever encountered issues with apps not functioning due to integrity checks, you're in the right place. So let's talk about play integrity and safety net. Now, for many of you, these terms might sound a bit technical, but don't worry, I'll break it down. Play integrity is essentially Google's way of ensuring that the device running their applications hasn't been tampered with. Safety net, which is now being phased out, played a similar role. Imagine you're throwing a party and you wanna make sure everyone who comes in is on the guest list. This is how play integrity checks work. It verifies your device to ensure it's legitimate and hasn't been modified in a way that could compromise security. Now, there are tools out there that can help you pass these checks even if your device isn't in perfect condition. One popular method is by using a module called Play Integrity Fix. Here's the catch. It's not designed to hide root access or bypass security checks on other apps. Instead, it focuses on making sure your device presents itself as valid when these integrity tests take place. To use this module, you first need to be rooted and set up with Zygisk. You have three main configurations to choose from, whether it's Magisk or Kernel SU, which might sound complicated, but think of it as picking the right tool for a job. After setting it up, you reboot your device. Exciting, right? Now, once you're up and running, you'll want to check the results of your integrity tests using apps like Play Integrity Check or Safety Net Checker. It's a bit like checking your grades after studying hard. You wanna see if everything you've done has paid off. However, if you run into errors, don't panic. Sometimes the volume of users trying to get their verification can lead to limitations from the apps themselves. And here's a little tech trivia for you. SafetyNet is being deprecated. Google has a timeline for it, and it's crucial to stay updated on this because it affects how we manage device security. Let's talk verdicts for a moment. After running the attestation, you might see results like meets basic integrity. Great news, but what if it says meets strong integrity? Well, that's a complex landscape. Most unlocked bootloader devices won't pass this check unless you're using a stock ROM. It's good to know what you're working with, right? And remember, if you're on a custom ROM or using a custom kernel, make sure your kernel isn't blacklisted. A quick command in your terminal can help you here. Before we wrap up, I'll leave you with a thought-provoking question. How secure do you feel with your device in a world where technology is ever evolving? So as a quick recap, today we've explored the importance of play integrity and safety net, tools to navigate these challenges, and ways to ensure your Android device passes integrity checks. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this episode helpful, be sure to check out the additional resources linked in the description. Until next time, keep your devices safe and your curiosity alive.